Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to Chinchilla Cut You Off official video. Let's see what she has to say. Cut you off. I Ooh. blocked your number and I cut you off. I stole your thunder, you've had too much attention already. So I used what you left me to sharpen my machete. Ah. Full media timeout. Full media timeout. All right. The theme is hats, I guess. That hat with the doors on it, superb. And then we went through the door. The visuals, the visuals, the visuals, the, the creativity, the stepping out of the box. Let me know this. I think this is only my Second time watching one of her music videos, um, I think. Does she always wear the gloves with the nails? Is that like her signature? I'm just wondering. It's just a question. I could care less either way. Uh, I just am like, I think she's a risk taker all the way around, both with her music, the, the, the subject matter of her music, and her look. I think she just is authentic and true to who she is and what she feels. And she expresses that through her artistry, through her look. Um, so I was just wondering, uh, this is now, I think we've morphed into like an ode to Edward Scissorhands. It feels like, but this door situation feels like an ode to Alice in Wonderland. Like, I just feel like there's all these, like the Mad Hatter, there's all these things happening. And then we, I mean, could we talk about the vocals? Could we talk about this, the lyrics? Yeah. But what do we always talk about first here on this channel? the look uh i love the cut you off kind of like spooky feel of it the razor sharp cat eye like come on girl come on girl that beat drop is nasty All right, let's talk about the music because whoever produced this, whoever put their oomph into this, whoever blessed this track, my God, it is futuristic, hip hop influenced, like I, 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 it, I lack, lack of words, lack of words. And then she's like, ah, that like cool girl. It feels very like Aaliyah, early 90s kind of R&B, just f real relaxed in the vocal, not trying too hard. And she got some vocals. So the fact that she's sitting in it just very kind of relaxed, I enjoy that because you know when, uh, uh my baby's crying. I don't know if y'all can hear <laughs> uh, but when when you know an artist can can belt for the gods and give you all the complexities and the riffs and the runs and the hoots and the hollas and the you know all the things but they decide to just sit back and let you enjoy the music and they ride the wave it makes you appreciate their talent more uh and i think she's also respecting the fact that this beat goes so hard that she don't have to work that hard you know what i mean do you feel me is it just me i don't know i'm so into this i'm so into it Edward Scissorhands for sure. Woo! 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 The hat is made out of hair. about internationally but i don't feel like she has enough following here in the states do we know about her here in the states she feels so underrated to me and she could be the biggest thing happening overseas but i don't live overseas i live on this side and come get me because it's on fire jesus the whole the whole globe is on fire honestly and just pray for everything everyone because jesus uh but i just like she is sensational the um 
I mean, there's just been so many kind of changes in the song, gear shifts, if you will. It's just like, oh, you close your eyes and you get an experience. You open your eyes and you get an experience. You know, it's like, damn, damned if you do, damned if you don't. I like that note that she's that and I'm ready because it feels really imperfect in a way. Um, it's got this like style and accent on it, but it feels like maybe it was a mistake and she kept it. Not saying that's just not saying that's act, like it is a mistake, but it feels like that. Like the rest of her notes are so streamlined and perfect. And then she kind of does this weird like like weird thing with her voice that obviously I cannot emulate. Um, but I like that choice. I like it. It's different. I want you, don't test me. I that you're trying to soften something you can't deny. Whew. My vision's vivid, I'm livid. I see it playing on a loopy one. I lost my mind. I'm losing my mind. I don't want it to be put on me to trigger your memory and relive mine. You remember too well, professional. What happened to tell you? This is the song is so relevant to music today. I think it's it's in the forefront of like where music is in the best way. It doesn't sound like anybody else. It doesn't feel like anybody else. It doesn't look like anybody else, but it's still super relevant. You know, I think a lot of times artists feel like they have to sell out um, who they are to stay radio friendly. And I think this song is radio ready, but n you you won't confuse her with anyone else. I think a lot of times I turn on the radio. I'm like, who is this? This could be A, B, C or D. You know who this is. It's so, the colors, the choreography, the fashion, like it's just, is she an act? Like, is she act? Is she like got a theater background or anything? Because I get theatrics from her, like just big old theatrics. The heart in her hand. The red telephones hanging from this is she gives Gaga. She her visuals, like her her creativity, her her out there-ness, if you will. It's a word. Don't Google it. I'm just telling you, you need to believe me. It feels very Gaga-esque. Like she just will push, she'll push, she'll push, she'll push the limit. She'll push you past your limits creatively. Creatively? Creatively? I don't know, y'all. Pray for me. <laughs> That's sharper than a machete line. Don't call me, don't text me. I warned you. Cause you called one too many times. What you do that for? Now I'm lying on the floor. Racking up a door. Now I'm anxious and I'm phoneless. Did she say racking up a debt? Miss ma'am. No, I'm Ma'am, that for now I'm lying on the floor, racking up a debt, racking up a debt. I'm phoneless, what a mess. Now I'm anxious, anxious, and I'm phoneless. What a mess, like poetry. Poetry, she's a poet, she's a poet, she's a poet. Never used to believe in that till you stole all my money. In fact, wasted energy backing you. Now it's something. If this isn't the ultimate breakup song, if this is the ultimate I'm through with you song, like get out of here. Oh, <laughs> this one's for the girlies. Perfect, perfect ending. 
perfect ending. Chinchilla, you, my dear, are a problem. And I say that with all respect and all praises. Like, you're a problem. This industry needs you. Holy cow. And she ended it with a ah! So good. Man, listen. She's so good. All right, y'all. I have said what I need to say. Make sure you're subscribed, like this video, leave a comment, share it if you will, and go and have the day that you deserve. Peace.